In this video, we're going to look at using StatCrunch to compute binomial probability experiments with so many successes and then look at some distributions as well. I prefer to use Excel and create a document. You can click here for a video on that. It's rather long, but what it does is allow you to put in new information to that document rather than always uh, um, using StatCrunch to just calculate certain aspects. You can always build off of the Excel document for more information. All right, but let's do this here. So it's quite quick, actually, though. You go into StatCrunch. And when it opens, you click Stat and go down to Calculators and then Binomial. Well, this is a calculator that just takes this information as the input. So here you have your trials. So n is 12, and then our probability of success 0.85 and then here it's quite nice because you can have it set to whatever you want we have uh, 10 for X and it has to be exactly equal to 10 successes so we click this button and go down here and click equal then it gives us our probability right there 0.2923 and 5 which rounds that up to a 4 same thing so to get a probability of one event it's quite quick and then it gives you some others here that give you the, the uh, histogram, basically, or a bar plot. Okay, let's go to another problem. So in this problem, it's a binomial probability experiment. We want to find the probability of x less than or equal to 4. So again, we open up StatCrunch. Same thing, stat, calculators, binomial. And we enter our 11 are 0 0.1 and then this time we put in a 4 here and then it's less than or equal to so we already have that and click compute so 0 0.9972 if we look at the answer here we see it's 0 0.9972 so this allows us quickly to find you know less than or equal to greater than or equal to uh, less than and great greater than quite quickly with the calculator so this is fast however Sometimes it's kind of nice to see more than one probability, and that's why I suggested Excel at first. If we continue on to a problem like this, here's where it wants us to construct a binomial probability distribution. So in order to do that, we can open up StatCrunch again, and we can find these individual uh, probabilities. So we just got to keep redoing it. So I just go into Stat, Calculator Binomial, and then I do each of them, so 6, and then 0.6, and now I set this to equal, make sure you got that right, and I do each of them. So what I mean by each of them is that we need to find out for zero, zero compute, and then I plug it in, right? One compute, two compute, and I write all those in, four, etc., all the way up until six. Okay, so they're all there, put that in there, so it's not too bad, but on Excel, remember, you just have a, put these two numbers in, and that was those would be automatically given. Then you need to find out in this problem the mean and standard deviation. Now, that doesn't give that to you in, in this uh, calculator. There's no standard deviation or mean here, so you need to know those formulas and compute them each time with a calculator. So we can use a calculator to do that. And um, here's our formulas. Our n is 6, our probability is 0 .0, 0 0.6, excuse me. And so here's the mean, n times p, so that's pretty quick. So 6 times 0.6, so 3.6, so that's the mean. So you have to do this every time for this. And then the um, standard deviation, that's quick as well, so it's the 3.6 times 1 minus p, so 3.6 times 1 minus, of course you could put in the you know, point for yourself, but there's 1.44, then we need the square root of that, so second square root of the answer, so 1.2. So that's how you can figure out the mean and standard deviation. You'll have to calculate that each time, versus in Excel it's already calculated for you if you created that sheet. Okay, then you need to continue on for the answer of the histogram. Now again, it's, you're not going to be able to put this data into the 
into the um, stat crunch right here, unless you want to copy and paste or type it in all yourself, here you can just match it up kind of with what they have given you here. It's not the best, but this shows basically a bar graph of the data, and this is a histogram, so at zero you have to kind of match this up. It's not exactly the same because it's exactly at the two shows the height, right? So right to there, right to there, and then the mean, of course, is not on there. But that's what you're going to have to do to match it up. Otherwise, in Excel, you can create your own histogram with this data by typing it up and following on how to create a histogram with that information. But otherwise, you can also just visually look at this and match it up and kind of draw it out yourself as well to match that up. So that's how you complete uh, these probability distributions in StatCrunch.